स्टूडेंट्स यूजुअली फेस इशू विथ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन इन जियोग्राफी दिस टाइम द कॉम्प्रीहेंशन क्वेश्चन वॉज पर्टेनिंग टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स नाउ वी वुड अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू सॉल्व क्वेश्चन लाइक दीज फ्रॉम स्टैटिस्टिक्स सो वॉट वॉज गिवेन वॉज अ टेबल वी हैड द क्लास लिमिट्स विच वर गिवेन एंड द फ्रीक्वेंसी अगेंस्ट ईच क्लास लिमिट नाउ दिस इज अ इंक्लूसिव सीरीज सो वन जीरो वन एंड टू हंड्रेड सो बोथ द वैल्यूज वुड बी इंक्लूडेड विद इन दिस क्लास लिमिट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड इट इज एन इंक्लूसिव सीरीज and then we have the frequency so to find out the total frequency we would have to do the cumulative frequency we'll understand that in a while so let's focus on the first question which one of the following is the relative frequency in percentage for the class limit 301 to 400 so 301 to 400 is this so this is the frequency now the question asks about relative frequency how do we calculate relative frequency it is pretty simple first of all find out the cumulative frequency so it is 4 16, 16 plus 24 is uh, 30, 40, 40 plus 40 is 80, 80 plus 16 is 96, 96 plus 12 is 8 and 108, 118, uh, 123 and 125. So 125 is the total frequency. Now relative frequency would be how much? Relative frequency would be 24 divided by 125 into 100. So that would give you the answer, and that would be somewhere close to 19.2. And this is how we solve the question on relative frequency for the same. table again the next question was what is the cumulative frequency of the entire set we already calculated it in the previous question so that is the benefit so we uh, just move back and refer the cumulative frequencies here so we have already done the cumulative frequency what were those so cumulative frequency we calculated here and the total cumulative frequency the sum of all frequencies was 125 so for this question it is a very direct question the answer here is how much it is 125 so the cumulative frequency for this table is 125 the next question based on the same table which one of the following is the cumulative frequency of the class limit 1401 uh, to 500 so i have to calculate till here only so i have to find out the cumulative frequency till here so it's 4 16 so how do i calculate 16 it is 4 plus 12 Now twelve sixteen uh, plus twenty four is forty and forty plus forty is how much eighty so eighty becomes my answer here so up to this class limit what is the cumulative frequency the cumulative frequency here is eighty clear next question based on the same table now here what I have to do is I have to find out the arithmetic mean value for the given data how do I calculate the arithmetic mean value I have to find out the uh mid value okay so i do the mid value and mid value multiplied by the frequency okay so what is the mid value here 100 and 200 what would be the mid value 150 okay so it would be 150.5 so 150.5 multiplied by 4 then you have 250.5 multiplied by 12 3 zi- 350.5 multiplied by 24 Four fifty point five multiplied by forty. Five fifty point five multiplied by sixteen. Six 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 fifty point five multiplied by twelve. Seven fifty point five multiplied by ten. Eight fifty point five multiplied by five and nine fifty point five multiplied by two. I add up all these. It comes to six zero. Three one two point five. Now I find out the arithmetic mean. So arithmetic mean is the total frequency. Uh, I divide it by the total frequency. So how do I calculate the arithmetic mean value? Arithmetic va- mean value is the mid value into the frequency of the with the mid value divided by the cumulative frequency. So that is six zero three one two point five divided by one twenty five, and this is how much four eighty two point five. So that would be my answer for the arithmetic mean value for the given set of data. So it would lie in this range. Clear? the next question which of the following is the mode value for the given set of data <clears throat> very important question for a grouped data how do we calculate the mode it is the lower limit plus the formula i'll just mention so it is the frequency 
of the modal class minus the frequency of the preceding class divided by twice the frequency of the modal class minus the frequency of the preceding class minus the frequency of the succeeding class multiplied by h which is the uh, which is the interval okay so lower limit of the modal class is how much modal class would be this because you have highest frequency here i have to find out the exact value against which you would have the uh, i would have to find out the modal value okay so mode would lie in this range because this is 40 which is the highest frequency so my lower limit would be 401 plus the frequency of this is 40 40 minus the frequency of the preceding class is 24 divided by 2 into 40 minus frequency of the preceding class which is 24 minus frequency of the class succeeding it which is 16 multiplied by class interval how much this is an inclusive series so the class interval is 100 now i solve this and i get 441 as the right answer so here the mode value for this given set of data would be 441 in a separate lectures we have talked about calculating mean mode and median for grouped data as well as ungrouped data very very important cover those and do practice at least five years past paper for geography uh, the salt papers are given in the link below if you have any questions any doubts feel free to come back to us we'll be more than happy to revert your queries good luck